Glim has a big celebration planned for its 100th year as an incorporated city. October 31st of 2013, okay. we'll turn 100. So we're going to have activities all throughout the year. July 4th will be our next event, which is Old Fashioned Fourth of July at the Squim Reuse Demonstration Site. Patsy Mattingly is heading that up. On the 5th of July, we're going to have a street dance and close down Washington Street. And um, it'll be in conjunction with First Friday Art Walk. So we're hoping to get a lot of people there. Uh, oh, we'll have a golf tournament in May, a golf tournament um, in July. And then the grand finale, November 2nd, out at Seven Seaters, mm -hmm. which should be a great birthday party. I'm hoping to shut down the main intersection. Chief of Police doesn't know that yet, <laughs> but we're going to work on him. And it's just going to be great. It's going to be a big party. And it's. I'm hoping it's one of those things that just... Uh, really stays with people for a lot of years that they really remember and uh, and would be a, a, a living example or demonstration of the spirit of Squim that's uh, always been here, you know, so it's going to be it's going to be fun. We're also going to take community photos on July 4th and the 5th um, down at the reuse site for the 4th and here in town on the 5th. And that's the result of people who really make a difference and so Joe Keeler was like that for us came to town, opened a saloon, built a hotel, built a lumber yard, formed a baseball team, you know, his wife opened up a cafe and a restaurant and, and just really, you know, started helping the city grow. Donated old milk cans have been painted by local artists to remember Squim's once rich dairy and farming history. This can was donated by one of our employees, Kevin Hergert, and it was in pretty sad shape when we got it. Um, Evergreen Collision blasted them or did some type of process on them to make them a little bit easier to work with. And then Monica Livingstone designed and painted this can for us. So the next time you peer down Squim Avenue, remember it looked like this in the early 1900s.